What comes to mind when you think of Canberra, Australia's capital city? Maybe the fact that it's a peaceful, calm, pretty place where laws are made. Well, for four special days in January, Canberra becomes the complete opposite of all those things. It becomes a different kind of capital city, the capital city of noise. The capital city of horsepower. city for burnouts, chrome, turbos and blowers. Canberra becomes the capital city of fun, whether it be with your friends or family. Yes, Canberra is home to an event like no other. Canberra is home to the Summer Nats. so much new at Summer Nats 32. Skid Road just opened. I've just come from there. It's probably the most exciting thing that we've added to the event. Taking back our world record this afternoon, it's going to be pretty spectacular. We've got a couple of brand new mainline Pro Hub dinos here. That's going to amp up the competition a little bit. And we've got drift demos going on all weekend long at Summer Nats. And then the stuff that's here every year, the crazy burnout masters. I can't wait. This is going to be huge. It's a 1932 Ford pickup, hot rod. I've owned it for eight years now. It took six years to build. It was actually a, an old fiberglass mould that a guy had sold me that was completely different shape to what it is now. Trays, handmade, chassis, just about everything on the car. Not a big dollar build, because I had a budget. My lovely wife sent me a budget, and I stuck to it. No, these beasts aren't heading to the pub just yet. City Cruise is the traditional kickoff to Summon Act, where hundreds of cars roam through the heart of Canberra. With a blown or street, hot rod or muscle, all cars are welcome and admired by the locals. It's the first one for me and my son. Um, he was quite excited to go on it and do, do a cruise. We haven't done it before and um, to get selected out of, I think, 2,000 cars. I'd imagine it'd be a lot of people trying to get a spot. It is a privilege and take it quite seriously. We don't, you know, misbehave or anything like that. So we want to preserve it and make sure, you know, it's, it happens for future years. It's great to, um, you know, be cruising along next to, you know, big blind meth run cards. Um, you know, a real experience and you can't get it too many places else and, um, you know, on the streets than here in Summer Nats. After the CBD sojourn, Someone at its entrance parade heads back to Exhibition Park to really get the party started. Okay, well this is the last chance wildcard burnouts. Um, they've been chosen through events through the season. Uh, there's 25 cars here this afternoon, um, all looking to fight out for a spot in um, tomorrow's Burnout Masters. Um, 
which will progress on the Sunday where they have a top 10 shootout. Hopefully one of these cars can get through to Sunday. It is effectively the, the grand final of the 2018 season. Everything culminates that's happened in the previous year and it all comes down to this weekend. My name is Norman Carlton. It's a 1973 LJ Tirana with a 350 Chev and a 671 blower. I started coming to the Summonats 20 years ago as a spectator. Missed a few, I only came occasionally. It's been the last four to five years that I've come every time. The last three years it's been entered in the Summonats. We went for Grand Champion with it last year with Steve driving it. We had some mechanical issues with it. So we've rectified those issues and we've come back this year and I'm gonna give it another crack. This car's been with my mate Steve for 30 years. This is its fourth build. The first build, the car was blue. It was completely different. It was then built in a, a darker red, a very deep red. The engine was all polished up with a black blower, but the engine was all, all different. The interior was slightly different, not as well presented as what it is today. The engine bay's all been repainted gloss black and we've blacked out the whole engine and painted that. We had to rebuild aspects of it as well. I've done a lot of the mechanical work and electrical work on this car, just in our part-time playing around with the, with the build, trying to sort out the little gremlins. This car actually is looking at retirement we'll have a think about what we're gonna do and maybe a few more changes and possibly bring it back in the future. A few years ago at Summonats, we got together with the Guinness World Record people and said, what's the most number of people that have ever done a burnout in the one place and one time? And they went, what's a burnout? So we had that conversation. We ended up with 60 something cars here for the first time. Two years later, we ended up with 103 cars all turning their tyres in the one place at the one time to meet the careful criteria that the Guinness people developed and put together. September last year though, a whole group of Saudi Arabian petrol heads took it from us. The current record stands at 119. The good folks that enter Summonats every year that you can hear behind me now are here to take the record back for Summonats for Australia. 
we're going to rip this pad apart. I think this is brilliant. Uh, I really personally appreciate uh, attempts where a lot of people from different communities come together. That's kind of what Guinness World Records is all about. Uh, a lot of people coming from all over the world, all over the country, to see something like this. So whether they're, uh, you know, it's nice to see a spectacle, people observing. But again, all these different types of cars, if you can see even behind me here, uh, I get to learn a lot of things about it as well. So big community effort, and it's, it's just been great. Oil change, rattle gum, gaskets, a battery, disc brakes, spark plugs. What do you need? Burson Auto Parts have more than 180 auto parts stores in Australia. They've been in the game for around 50 years. Don't turn up at Summer Nights in January with a shit box. Get that shit sorted, mate. Get your car fixed, repaired, ready to smash skids. You don't want to blow a wheel bearing on Skid Row, eh? You want to smash tires like a mad dog. If you need help, call 1300 Burson or visit burson.com.au. Now. Summon at 32. 132 cars have lined up to take the burnout world record. To do so will require at least 30 seconds of constant smoke. the 30 second mark. Now they're not just breaking the record, they are smashing the record. We've spent the last 15 minutes deliberating how many of our vehicles in fact turned tyres. The nervous question begs, do we take back our rightfully owned Guinness World Record? Brian? I can tell you guys that we did have over the 119 register to actually come in. And I can also tell you that we did have to disqualify about six cars for not being able to participate during the time. The count that we've come up with today is 126 vehicles. Yeah! I think we was 131 cars on the track. Needed to get 120, got 126, so just made it. Everyone worked as a unit, get it done, get it done right, and to make it awesome, and that's where we are. My name's Troy David, uh, all the way from Darwin, Northern Territory. This car is a uh, FJ Holden Ute 1954 model, twin turbo LSX 427 motor. When my father-in-law was alive, we, uh, we were in Darwin and we found it in a magazine for sale out of Victoria and it was just a, a small block FJ that someone had built and had never finished. We pulled apart and uh, rebuilt it all and uh, that was 10 years ago so I decided to rebuild it. Everyone seems to be all this horsepower thing is in turbos now so I decided to do a, a twin turbo combo. I 
I built the car for one of my daughters. Uh, she's only five, so this, is, this will be her first car when she gets a licence. It's full rego so we can drive around the streets anywhere. So the idea was when we went to the Red Centres, we wanted to do that. My main goal, if I could have got it in the hall here, which we've done that, was uh, to win Grand Champion if I did, like especially winning the Red Centres. It'd be a first time for anyone, obviously, and uh, looking at the competition that's here, it's, it's mind-boggling, you know. I like the old school colours. I didn't like the new Pascals and all that sort of stuff. So there's a Camaro around here that I seen about three years ago. It was a colour I had in my head. And I went looking for it to find it. I found the owner of it and I said, oh, what colour is it? Yeah, what's the brand? And he said, oh, we made it ourselves. So I decided we just made this ourselves. We just started mixing colours. When I chose the colour, they all just reckon I've just put clear over primer, you know, so they're all just saying, when it, one bloke even come to me at the Red Centres, he goes, so you're going to paint it before you take it to the summer nights? I'm like, really? So anyway, so, so that, that was where we come up with a mate of mine, obviously, he's a songwriter and a designer and that, and he said, Prime sounds like a good name for it, and I went, yeah, it was, so we just thought we'd call it Prime, yeah. We are here in the MPW Performance Dino Cell for Haltech Horsepower Heroes. And one of the big attractions this year is the Turbo versus Blower Shootout. The big boys have come to play. We've got the AC Delco Fabietti Racing Top Alcohol Pro Slammer. And we have Castle Hill Performance with their twin turbo big block VT Commodore. And those guys are duking it out for ultimate power bragging rights. I do believe that uh, Mr Hinchelwood may have referred to um, turbos as only being good for drying people's hair. Dale just came, he, he's a man of few words, because he just came out and said that blowers suck. Habono at Summonance 32. The AC Delco Pro Slammer team could not be happier. We are absolutely pumped. 2808. I don't think Dale's got a chance. It's blowers all the way, baby. You reckon you got it? Yeah, I'm gonna go 29. You can you can opt out now, you can bow if you want. <laughs> Again. <laughs> I, was gonna say, I thought they had me buy a horsepower. I can't wait to get back in and drive it again now. I'll see if it's got anything left in it. If it does, I'll put a bit in it and see if we can maybe get 2900 or something like that. Canberra, ACT, home to Parliament House, home to the Australian War Memorial. This is an important place. Canberra is important. Telstra Tower, Fishwick Adult Shops, and in January, some of the best burnouts you'll ever see. We'd like to invite you to come to Canberra because they look after us and we want you to look after them. And because they look after us, it means we can look after you in January for four days at the best car festival in the world. Josh Bennis, Canberra. Dad. Street Machine. If you don't read Street Machine, follow their YouTube channel or visit their website for great content. What are you doing with your life? Nothing. That's what you're doing. For all the latest on all things Street Machine, visit your local news agent, buy a magazine subscription on their website now. They got all sorts of mad stuff. Turbo taxis, LS powered MX-5s and the best Street Machines Australia has to offer. Do it now.
<laughs> From power to precision, Summonats has it all. Drago Ostrich leads his elite judging team once again on deciding which cars are top 60 worthy in the Maguire's Pavilion. Good job, guys. Good job. Yeah. Clap yourself. Decisions made. It's time to make the walk and post who's made top 60 for Summonats 32. It's like you're carrying the election results. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this year, I reckon there's more good cars, more newer and, and cars here than ever. This will be the best top 60 show ever. Enjoy. Hope you're all happy. Enjoy. There's your results for the top 60. Still looking. There, we're there. Done it. Yes. <laughs> Woo. Unbelievable. It's been a great story. I love it. I am in there. Can't believe it. 1499. Yep. Yeah. It's awesome. You know, it's a street car. It was a, major, a show car, but just come here with some mates, enjoy it, and look at rewards. Oh, great, mate. This is the third time. A lot of hard work's paid off, yeah. The last two weeks we haven't slept. It's um, been chaos. First time at the Nats with the car. We've just finished building a five year build. We're here because my daughter wanted to try out for Elite. And we did. Very excited because the year that we finished and the first year we've entered and the first year we've made it. Ross Mays, I'm from Bendigo, Central Victoria. I've entered a 32 Ford Tudor. It's got a big block shed, supercharger, nine inch diff. Goes pretty hard and it's pretty wild. People know the car pretty well now. 11 years ago I debuted it, so it took me about a three year build to build. This car, when I uh, debuted it, was actually a high boy, so that was no fenders on it. Sort of a completely different look, and then I decided, bugger it, I'm going to put some guards on it, so I've done that afterwards and given it a whole new look. This is my car that I drew as a kid. Everything about it is what I wanted when I grew up, so now I've grown up, this is what I've got, but it was never drawn with flames, so that come later. It was something that I will never part with because it's what I've wanted since I was a kid, where my car before that was a, just a starting base and that moved on. But this, yeah, keep this car forever, so it's me. Everyone knows it is me. <laughs> so it's been here seven times for Grand Champion and, yeah, it's done pretty well along the way. And now it's an old car, but it still gets that wow factor and that's what I love about it. And I love Grand Champion, but I'm not going for it. Everyone will know me. I'm, I get in it and I give it everything when I go for Grand Champion, just for the fun. I know I'm probably not going to win it, I just enjoy it and love it and the car's built to go. It's fun to drive. Alright, here we go. Top 60 cars coming in. Let's roll the door up. Blood, sweat, gears and tears are all worth it for the 60 entrance about to be ushered into the Holy of Holies, the Maguire's Pavilion. Once the top 60 is in place, the final preparations are made. Team D-Max, we've got two awesome activations set up. We've got the Iron Summit, it's our 45 degree ramp. It's the steepest ramp on the planet. And then a bit of the icing on the cake, There's something really special here. Dave Shannon's behind the wheel and we're chucking the car up on two wheels. And uh, we're loading people up into the cars and just showing them what the MUX is capable of. And I guess showing off what our team's capable of as well, yeah. Come on in. Seatbelt. So, Seat my boss. Sorry. Left hand. Where can I not put my hand? <laughs> well, does it make any difference in weight between one and two people? No. Are we ready? Okay. Let's do it. You're going to get some milk and bread from down the shops. Oh, the pot old hops. Holy sh. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hang on. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That was excellent! <laughs> Dad! 
G-O, G-G-O. Picture this, you've just spent the best part of five years building your dream car. You've spent every last dollar you have. What you need is peace of mind, right? And you need your vehicle insured for what it's worth. Don't muck around when it comes to insurance. Get the right cover. Shannon's will look after you. Give them a call, 134646 or shannons.com.au. indoors with a record number it's time to take the wraps off a record 17 sweet machines in the Maguire's Great Uncover. Righto folks the first of 17 let's get it going it is uh, Ross Healy in the 1971 HQ Holden Coupe let's make some noise for him. Alex Torano, 1976, called Intensive. It's an amazing car. Put your hands together for that. That is outstanding. <laughs> 1970 XW, um, running a 393 Stroke car, uh, stage two box, C4. Original custom interior, pillar wheel. Over here we've got Todd Sorensen, 1967 Chevy Impala, called Tribute. Get your photos, look at this one, this is immaculate again. Very, very impressive car. This is the 1976 LX Holden Tirana Mad LX of the plates. It's a 408 cube, twin turbo, it's all hidden, custom, a lot of billet stuff, mini tubs, billet wheels. Custom interior and a nice candy paint. Zorin's XE. Wow. It's like a family heirloom. It's, it's like a family member. It's that one car that means the world to you and you always want to finish it with the right team behind me and the support. I finally got it done and I'm, I'm pretty proud. Tom Jurek, the 71 XY Falcon. Tom, tell us a little bit about it, mate. When I got it, she was uh, she was pretty rough. Actually, I reckon she was decimated for the crushes. And uh, yeah, we brought it back, and you know, thousands of man hours have gone into this, and I just can't can't thank my crew enough. We're down here with Mike King with his 1964 XM4 Falcon Coupe. The lunch driver was what he calls it. It's got a 363 Windsor in it. Strange nine inch rear end. Very awesome car. 2008 VE Holden SS Commodore. What do you think when you see it, mate? Oh, mate, absolutely love the engine bay, the doors and the body line. You know, I couldn't thank the uh, people who sort of helped me all along the way. Look at that. 1972, LJ Holden Parada for Chris Campbell. And have a look at this. 1957 Chev Bel Air. Oh. <laughs> Here we are with Joy Schutler. He's got a 68 Ford Mustang Coupe. We just started to have a bit of fun and go and have, you know, go and do some skids and do some radio racing and change the direction and have some fun. We've got uh, Michael Brown with the 1971 AMC Hornet. All right, let's make some noise for this. Oh, look at this.
1964 EH Holden Wagon. He's called it Matured. Oh, look at that. Wow. Bit more than a burnout car. A bit more, yeah. How many horses? Uh, about 640. Wow, look at that. It's 1937 Plymouth Coupe. Let's make some noise for Dean. This is my father's car originally. Uh, he bought it in early 2000s and passed away in 2009. Yeah, I'm finishing up for his 10 year anniversary, which is in April. Wow! Wow! Cooper's 1970 Chevy Nova. That is a very impressive car by Cooper. 18 year old. Dodge Challenger. The whole car is pretty much hand fabricated out of steel, about around about a three year labour of love. Once again, let's make some noise for Rob and this amazing vehicle, the Challenger. G'day, we're the June Rats from Brisbane. And we love burnout. <laughs> and we're burnout. <laughs> I don't ever wanna dream again. I don't ever wanna dream again. It has exceeded every yeah. expectation. We're Ticked just all the boxes, still smelling that rubber. And I saw a guy thong tan was incredible from all the rubber. I'm a, I'm a CRV. He's got a Honda CRV. CRV. CRV fanatic. What do you got? 350s lives on. I've got a jazz. I'm Andy, I'm Brady Benassi, Cab Chassis, and you're at Do you love your car? How much do you love your car? Proof that you love your car is if you look after it with the best car care products on the market. Meguiar's, Meguiar's. If you've spent thousands building your car, don't care for it with crap, 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 crap quality products. Look after it with the best. The best. You should also use the best to keep yourself clean. Super thick and sudsing. Wee. See this? This is the best. The best! <coughs> Are these shit ads over yet? Seriously. Shit Got a Holden, got a Ford, got a Chrysler. Do you have a sick VL? A hectic VK, a VB, a VC, a Mang Mang VN, an XW, an XY, an XT, an XA, an XC, a Tory, a Rana. Yes. Yes, I know they're the same thing. Whatever you got. If it's rare, rare spares do bits for it. So if you love bits and bobs and pieces and parts, visit their website for a full catalog and more. More bits, more bobs, more parts, more pieces. All of it. rsp.net.au Saturday morning at Summonats 32. The crowds are flocking in with two days left to go. Get your miles out, guys. Welcome to Summonats. What, uh, what brings you to Summonats today? Some good skids. Good burnouts, mate. It's a great social event, not just about the cars, but bringing people together as well. Burnouts, cars and girls. I'm keen to see the drifting and see what that brings as well. Brett Murray from Portland, Victoria. This is my 68 Dodge Dart, which I've built probably five years ago. It's been finished, so it's been here three times and I haven't been able to drive it, so this time I'm looking forward to it. I 
I bought the car for a thousand dollars probably about 10 years ago and everyone looked at me and said oh you'll never get that thing done you'll never build that it's too too rusty and that and I've, I've set a good challenge to me so I finally got it done but and uh, look what I've got I was going to paint the car orange to start with I ordered seats from America were supposed to be with orange stitching and they ended up arriving with red stitching which was my favourite colour. I, was, I did have a candy apple red Monaro before this. That sealed the deal, it was definitely going to be red. Basically ended because I can drive it without it overheating too much. Well, it's not too bad, so I'm really looking forward to it. Heading outside, we're in the Shannon's Show and Shine area, next to the Canna main stage where things are about to get loose. Stream Machine being long-term partners of Summonats um, for a long time, so always got a really good presence here in the hall and it's good to see so much traffic coming through, everyone's in a good mood. It's been awesome for Rare Spares and their involvement with the show and to watch it evolve over the years, it's been great. Summonats is a big deal for us, this is our 27th year straight, I've never missed one myself, so it's something we always look forward to, it's a lot of work, but we do look forward to it every year. Have your car featured inside the Elite Pavilion is one thing, but to win the top judged in the Elite Shed is another. This here it goes to Rob Zahabi with the incredible havoc. Congratulations, Rob. That is yours. That is a true honour. How are you feeling right oh, now? Look, I'm, I'm totally honoured to, to win this award. Um, to be here at the Summer Nats amongst the cars we're amongst, the people we're amongst, and the competition that's here, I'm, I'm truly honoured. To, to win this award. What was the, the feeling like when they took the covers off it yesterday? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a proud, proud moment. I was quite on it. Top Elite represents the finest car at Summonats. However, Rob Sahabi and his 1970 Dodge Challenger have one big target that remains, Grand Champion. I'd gone for Grand Champion a few times before, but failed to complete a few of the driving events due to commitments in the, in the shop and couldn't leave. So my idea with this car from day one was to basically not leave one section of the car untouched. Everything had to be customised. Every single part of this car has been hand built, hand fabricated, and a lot of time and effort. The driving events at Summonats will be a bit of a learning curve for us because the car's only been driven once since uh, we fired it up last week. It's a time for us to get to know what the car's going to turn like, brake light, accelerate like, so we'll be fine, we'll get it done. What is Canna, you ask? I'm going to read this to you. Hang on. Canna is the Dutch expert in cultivating your favourite crops. Eh? The green stuff. I mean, capsicums, tomatoes. Welcome to a new way of growing that is all about passion, love for plants, and achieving the best results in the easiest way. Canna.
whether it's capsicums, roses, broccoli, or anything else plant-based, eh? Oh, hang on. Visit canna.com.au. Hang on, I've got another bottle here. Brown stuff. Let's have a smell. For the first to open this. <coughs> yeah, man. Dad. Oil change, rattle gum, gaskets, a battery, disc brakes, spark plugs. What do you need? Burson Auto Parts have more than 180 auto parts stores in Australia. They've been in the game for around 50 years. Don't turn up at Summer Nights in January with a <laughs> box. Get that <laughs> sorted, mate. Get your car fixed, repaired, ready to smash skids. <laughs> You don't want to blow a wheel bearing on Skid Row, eh? You want to smash tires like a mad dog. If you need help, call 1300 Burson or visit burson.com.au. Now. Got every angle covered for Summon Ads 32 in the National Burnout Masters and the view from above is spectacular. Pat grandstands, as always, as it is every year, because this is the moment that nobody wants to miss. It is the biggest competition in the world when it comes to burnouts. All eyes on Canberra, Australia's capital, for the National Burnout Masters here at Summon Ants 32. We have 29 cars ready to skid. We have not had to wait long for the first fire at Summon Ants 32. The fires are on the scene. A local boy in Skidmer, as he throws it back up the chute, the judges will be liking what they've seen. Plenty of smoke, and the driving style is there as well. Oh, oh, did he get touch the of the wall. Yes, he's hit the wall. Negative 10 points from his total deduction applies right there. Oh, no. Two from two. So, as I said, Frank uh, Bessel from the Northern Territory. Oh. This little K20 Garola. Well, being an Austin, it would definitely explain the number plate. Pink and blue smoke. If this was a gender reveal, it'd be rather confusing, but it's a good burnout and plenty of smoke off the back of Mojo. That was really good, Jace. He's bang on 60 seconds just about as well. Well, this is business. Oh, he'll get the wall, though, just slightly. Man. Oh, that was just the slightest of rubs. Can the man from Albion Park Rail cement his name into the history books as a burnout master? But this is one of the heavy hitters Australia-wide, and this is a great start. Had some massive Ooh. fires in the past. <laughs> and right as you say it, right as you say it, it's starting to cook a little bit of a barbecue off throttle. Needs to stay on that throttle to avoid the fire. I think he'll be okay if he just stays on that loud pedal. And this has been strong once oh, again. Fred Watson is done nicely. Thank you very much. And oh. he is going to be stoked. Oh, this is really strong from Rick Fuller, one of the big names in the burnout scene once again. Three years oh. here at the Summit Ads, and he's come third. Oh, that's one of the best from him as well. Yeah. Bringing his A game. He didn't finish first on debut, he finished first and second. It was unheard of, unthinkable. What's he got for us in 2019? He's got plenty of speed, that's for sure. Matt James tips it in with massive, massive speed. We don't see that from Matt James very often. Wow, the champ's in trouble here. Big trouble, they'll be calling an end to this soon. The flame and it's getting bigger. It is getting bigger. Coming out of the right side at the moment. They've shown him the red flag, which means you have to stop. Burnout royalty, Gary, Gary Myers, is sitting riding shotgun with his son. And these small blocks hit the ground hard. Big time revs. Only in his early 20s. Qualified by a skidorama in Port Lincoln. Something different for Jake Myers in Sicko. There is not a deduction in sight for Jake Myers. He's headed to the top 10 tomorrow, surely. That was a big time skid. The smoke scores look pretty good. Constant smoke, awesome. volume of smoke. Yep. Yep, definitely. Doing a great job in that regard. Just has to keep moving. 
the judges don't score any points for sitting still and being uh, being stationary. Car control's been great here from, or should I say, truck control's truck been control. great. This big monster. It's lasted the minute, still gonna get the tyres off. It's tough with not a lot of weight on the rear as well. Again, Jack knows what he's gonna do. He knows that, oh, tap, touch right there. Tag the wall. Right, and again. again, big one. Definitely one of those cars that has got that really attractive squeal. Oh, I think he's okay. Close. Very, very close. And there could be some sprinkles outside. Tim Brown with Sam Blow says, you know what? If there is, I'm not taking any chances. I'm just going to go out and send it now. I love this car. So do I. And the carbon fibre hat that probably came off a top fuel car. <laughs> That's the entrance speed on the tip in. Got that around at least twice. That was the quickest entrance we've seen to the burnout pad today. An extended eight metres, the burnout pad from last year, to use every last inch of it. 408 cubic inches of uh, small block LS on board. Oh, and oh, oh. it has Whoa. gone fuzzy. Was that a pulley? Did that just it, yep. knock a pulley That's off the blower? That's exactly what it looks like. Oh, this is really good stuff. He says it's easier to drive. It's got power steering. It, it's just a new car. It's quieter inside yep. as well. He can throw it around the padded ease. Let's see how he goes backing up, though, after already being out there in LS1. He's never driven the two cars in the same day competitively. Job done beautifully for Rick Fuller there, with the second child known as Full On. Man, there is a genuine chance that he goes through to tomorrow with two shots in the field. Yeah. Because that was strong. He's about to show us why he is one of the wild cards in this field. And I don't mean he qualified by the wild cards. I mean one of the pure wild cards of the burnout scene. He finished top three in the burnout championship here last year, which is how he got his golden ticket. Big powerful skid from Steve Edsel in Skid U. Oh, he's got this thing right up on kill with the red limiter. Wow. Mark Waddington with the Warbird out of Victoria. Big, big skid from oh. oh, and Flames as well. Out of the engine block right at the very end. Graham Rowe in Gamble, last burnout in the qualifiers. And a strong start as he goes back up the entrance chute. And this big XE Falcon panel van talking about a thousand plus horsepower out of this engine. His second straight appearance in the burnout masters. He missed the top 10 last year, but might just make it. So the qualifiers have been completed at the National Burnout Masters here at Simonats 32. Who's going to make the top 10? We'll find out soon. Two words. Tough Street. wild and crazy location that is Summonat. We take Tough Street crazy with a new place to play, Skid Row. We want to allow for the entrance that want to let loose a little bit, turn the tyres, make some smoke and have some fun. I'm covered in rubber, we're all having a good time. Let off a bit of steam, not get in trouble. A new dynamic to the event. This is going amazingly well.
the Super Cruise. It's a big part of the Summer Nats and a real crowd favourite. Spectators gather around the main arena and are treated to a real sample of the best cars at Summer Nats. With a nice country carnival feel, people are sitting back, chilling, clapping the cars as they cruise around. Despite the weather, these passionate car owners still brave the rain. The Super Cruise is once again a great celebration that reflects the true DNA of the Summer Nats. Ten out of ten, for sure. Good, good. Poor weather. Better than yesterday was a scorcher. Not really. Yeah, beautiful car. Yep, Ernest Iwata. What is that you say? Listen, Ernest Iwata brings to the Australian market a wide range of equipment for the spraying of liquid coatings. Nice. These may be for automotive uses, both at production and refinish levels. They can even supply equipment for the beauty and film industries where it is possible to spray makeup, airbrush fingernails, body art, and spray on imitation suntans. Because who wouldn't want to have a suntan, right? Yeah. Yeah. With Haltech, you unlock the power. With everything from universal ECU kits, plug and play kits, to dashes, gauges, merchandise, and more. Have a look at this. Oh my gosh. Have a look at that. Buttons. Nice. Haltech.com. That's it. Dot com. People just seem to be really friendly and open and helpful. And um, looking for new cars. Yeah, young fella likes different types of cars, so yeah, it's just about the people, I think. We just have a look out in the oval and have a look at the cars out there, and then we'll wander in the pavilion into the uh, merchandise and have a look around there. And... We've got our cars in here, so yeah, we'll get them out and get back out on the skid row and have a bit of fun and do a bit of cruising. Sunday at Summer Nats' grand final day. So we've got the Burnout Masters. We're going to find out who the Australian Summer Nats Burnout Master is for Summer Nats 32. And of course, looking for Australia's best car and the Summer Nats Grand Champion. We've had 18 cars go for Grand Champion this year, which is massive. Um, so we're expecting big crowds and, and also a bang and burnout show to finish us off. So last year at Summer Nats 31, we came up with a new segment. We wandered down into the campsites to see what well, everyone was having for breakfast, pretty much. It was a bit of a mix of bacon, bacon and eggs, bacon, 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 bacon and eggs, and someone who brought pancakes. So after the much hype beginnings last year, we present to you once again the critically acclaimed Cooking with Summer Nats.
Danger, danger, War Robinson. Sunday morning at Summonats. Um, full of bacon, who would have thought? Having some brekkie, what's in the menu today? Um, bacon and eggs. Oh, what a surprise. Can you uh, show me around the setup? Have some cracked eggs? Yeah, yeah, have some. All right. Set it up, yeah. Mind the fingers. Bridge tomato sauce. Thanks, boys. Thanks, man. Leftover sausages. Leftover snaggers from last night? No, no, fresh this morning. Looks pretty plain. You don't have any veggies, any salad? No, nah, mate. Baked beans and Doritos. <laughs> That's <a> breakfast <laughs> and champions? Yeah. What are we having? Bacon egg rolls, mate. Bacon egg rolls, mate. That looks pretty good, too. He's cooked this one. <laughs> Always bacon and eggs? What about fruit? <laughs> no. Vegetables? No. Salad? What's that? <laughs> that looks pretty good. It's hot. Just That's true. That's really good, man. Thank you for that. Do you get sick of having bacon egg rolls at one point in the weekend? No. Never get sick of bacon egg rolls. No. Rissoles, bacon and eggs. Rissoles? That's a bit different. You've been to a few Summonats. When, when was your first one? 1988. First year. Summonats 1. You were there at Summonats 1. What was it like back then? Rowdy. What's camping at Summonats like? Fun. Yeah? With kids. With kids? Yeah. Do you get much sleep around all the campsites? Because I imagine there's a bit of noise here. A little bit. What's for brekkie? Oh, just bacon and eggs, of course. I think I'm going to quit my job and become a pig farmer here in Canberra because clearly these guys are making some money this weekend. You don't get too many vegetarians here at Summonats, but if you do make it to Summonats and you fancy something a bit different, there's your lettuce. That's looking pretty good right there. And uh, check out these bananas, hey? Just about ready for a smoothie, I reckon. Here we are at the, at the burnout track. Going to run the two driving events for Grand Champion. Judging, people's choice has already been sorted. And now we're going to run the first of all the Go Woe. Then we're going to run the Slalom. And it'll be a culmination of the judging points, people's choice, and the driving events. There's 18 cars running, and it's unbelievably close. Between first and last is only seven points, and there's 20 points up for grabs here on the track today. So let's go. Oh, go to work, man. I love go to work. Go to work as hard as you can and hopefully you stop. <laughs> so. Oh, I did OK. It stopped when it was supposed to. With, with this car, this is the first time out for this car, so it always plays up and down with you, so, but it's been fun. That's what it's all about. I did, uh, last year, I, I got in the top three grand champion on, in this car, but I had, uh, just distributor was loose last year, so hopefully I'll give it a bit better go this year, so. The slalom, well, it doesn't like me too much because uh, when I get down the end corner where I've got to spin around, doesn't like to spin around, but we'll do what we can. I'll probably have to putt around there, might look a little bit girlish, but I'll still have a crack. Well, again, you know, no need for uh, huge big tyres up at the back of it. The moulded alloy race sits in there, and the car is known as Addiction. So Josh Luter, let's see how he attacks it. So 393 cubes, small block, the front green, LC. The front end almost looks like a larger version of, of the uh, HP Tirana. I think they were, is it six pack originally, I think? Yeah, it? they were. It's a six pack, 202. But see, uh, this is not going to six cylinder in it, obviously. It was very throaty, with that very deep roar. Yeah. Now, we haven't had to see too many of these, uh, these drivers actually grab reverse, which is good. When this is 
something completely new for Summit Ads 32, drifting. I've got Dan Cornelia alongside me right now. Dan's going to absolutely send this thing. Here we go. Dan, that was awesome, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah, happy to take you, mate. Glad you had a thrill. That was awesome. They've been going hard. They've been hitting the wall, smashing barriers big crowds watching it, and it's a fantastic way you're walking through gate seven, the turning tyres going fast, making smoke, so happy days. It's time to drift into the MPW Performance Dino Cell to see whose talk is cheap and who will claim the Haltech Horsepower Hero Awards. Entrants get their machines ready to lay it on the line and on the dyno. Bubba Medlin's epic twin turbo VH Commodore Monster obliterated the field with a huge number to become our Haltech horsepower hero. We're going to start with the magnificent seven. We're going to send that down to the top three before we can crown our number one car here at Summon Ants 32. And here come the magnificent seven. Just all seven of these guys could have been just about grand champion. They were always so close. vehicles in just a few minutes is going to be the grand champion as they get out of their cars make plenty of noise for them so let's go your summon at 32 grand champion is entrant number 444 rick werner in the 32 ford hot rod pickup in the center right there the resurgence of the hot rods. Ladies and gentlemen, how about it? Your grand champion for 2019. You've done it. You have won grand champion for 2019. This family effort has proven to be successful. Congratulations. Well done. Oh, thanks, Chad. Oh, wow. Bring your daughter back in because she helped design this car. How, how are you feeling right now? I can't talk. <laughs> Oh, I'm so proud of him. Um, this is amazing. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. Summon that's tradition. 32 years in the making and a father-daughter combination in the hot rod. Get to hold the sword up here in Canberra. Dad. I used to work in a panel shop as a spray painter. True story. I used to turn up to work early every single day. One day I was 10 minutes late. The boss said to me, why are you late? And because I was a young smart I said, you never thank me when I'm 15 minutes early. Not only did that go down like a mouth full of nails, I had to wash the entire complex for a week. And I was a painter. I wanted to paint. And our paint supplier at the time was PPG. These guys. So if you want to use the best paint in the world, don't be a smart to your boss. Be nice. Be kind. PPG. Get the finish on your car that you need. Shiny. Shiny. Dad. 
50 years. That is years and years and years of making the best air filters in the world. If you need a filter for your car, air filter, cabin filter, oil filter, go to knn.com or go to your local stockist. Superior airflow, superior performance, superior. We get set now for the top 10. This is for the biggest prize in Australian burnouts. This is the grand final of the Aussie burnout scene, the National Burnout Masters. Thomas Beltram in Inferno for the first time has made the top 10. And if you haven't seen this car skid before, check this out. Big, blown, powerful, and hits the pad hard and fast. Big revs. I could tell Tommy was super, super nervous. The wow. plan of attack, well, we'll see where it goes. That's the plan of attack, and I'll tell you, <laughs> where's it gone? Everywhere so far. Huge, huge, huge start for Thomas Beltrain right now, Jace. Dude off the freaking hook <laughs> is how we would explain this one. Just needs to use some more pad here. Got to get yeah, that I car agree. moving. Everything else has been perfect. Now he gets it moving. That's OK. Now he uses the, the uh, rest of the pad. Oh. Listen to the sound, the noise, the ferocity and anger from that 500 plus cubic inch blown and injected engine. The crowd are loving it. I'm loving it. I know Chad's loving it as well. <laughs> and the tyres are done. Nothing left from this FJ40 Toyota Land Cruiser with young Tommy Beltrame from South Australia. Chad, what a skid. That's a jaw dropper to kick things off. This crowd are eating it up. Massive skid and he's going out to the crowd. How's the energy Pure right now? Pure adrenaline <laughs> firing that young man. That was massive. He really delivered on the promise there. I can understand why he was nervous, but man, did he deliver just then. Gets it moving, got to get it off the pad. Is it now? No, tyres are off. No, tyres just, are... just looked like it was sitting a little yeah. sort of, you know, awkward there, but... Uh... Oof, man. The thing that shocks me about that car is the sheer speed that he approaches the burnout pad. Here it is again. Not quite as fast here than he was yesterday. I mean, not slow that, by any that stretch. That fast. But it was the way he went back again after he cleared the smoke. Yeah. Well, built this car with, when he was just 16 years of age. <laughs> with his dad. Man, oh, man. What a way to open up our official Burnout Masters top 10. How good. It's like Postman Pat's car got bitten by some kind of <laughs> atomic spider or something. This thing is just wild. What an absolute beast it is. He calls it his little Shetland pony, that car. I like that. <laughs> I've not heard that from him. There you go. <laughs> what a beast. Oh, wow. Now, we turn our attention to the start line once again with the uh, the Prince of Burnouts, as you uh, so gracefully gave him the title, Jake Myers from Mickleham in Victoria. This uh, legendary 1966 Ford Mustang, 302 small block Ford, with a 671 blind injected uh, supercharger and hat, makes over a 1,000 horsepower. Can he follow his dad into the history books today? Strong tip in, instant smoke. Tick that box. Well, he's certainly made, he's done his apprenticeship over the last couple of years. It's not like he is the new kid on the block any longer. Fifth in 2014, oh. a year he beat his dad by one spot in the top 10. It's his only appearance in the top 10. He has rewrapped his car, changed the look from red to gray, and is pounding the pad hard. That 302 Windsor is revving its absolute heads off. <laughs> this is a car that's been there before in the hands of his dad in the Masters. 
Now, interesting, looking at the driving skill side of it, we know that Tommy Beltran was a little more aggressive with the speed side of it. Jake is being a lot more controlled, a lot more meticulous in where car placement is. One tyre gone, bang on the one minute mark. Couldn't ask for much more than that. Second tyre gone, Perfect. he's timed that brilliantly. That's one of the best skits we've seen from Jake Myers. Still only in his young 20s, and that is an all-time skit. Well, wow. as you mentioned, the minimum time is one minute. 60 seconds is the minimum. Otherwise, you start to uh, cop some, uh, some deductions. And Jake timing that to a 102. So 62 yep. seconds to get both tyres, both brand new tyres too. These aren't second handies from Bob Jane. These are brand spanking new tyres on the back of each of these cars. If someone had told me that was Gary Myers in that car, I would have believed it watching that burnout. Very similar style, control throughout. Doesn't really throw it around like a Lynchy or anything like that. Just more drives through the power like his dad used to in this car. Did it nicely. It's not until we see, uh, you know, the, the car come back up towards our comms box that you actually feel the, uh, I, I guess, the, the percussion yep. and the violence of the, uh, or angriness of the engines. Yeah, percussion oh, yeah. is a real word, I reckon, for it. Particularly with the big blocks. You notice some of those big block engines, we saw that earlier with Tom Beltram, you really feel that. You can get it doing a skid. You can get it eating a dim sim. What's the best cold beer? Victoria Bitter. We finished doing these shit ads yet? Shit ad. Street Machine. If you don't read Street Machine, follow their YouTube channel or visit their website for great content. What are you doing with your life? Nothing. That's what you're doing. For all the latest on all things Street Machine, visit your local news agent, buy a magazine subscription on their website now. They got all sorts of mad stuff. Turbo taxis, LS powered MX-5s and the best Street Machines Australia has to offer. Do it now. to one who's going to be the best essentially in the world of burnouts and well it's been this man before is it going to be him again Andrew Paul and I blown well only uh, time will tell we uh, we've got still most of the field oh. to run oh geez in a really tight spot here Jace he might have Tad, just yeah. scraped the wall I think you're right I think he grabbed it right there on the tail so really qualified qualified for the uh, for the burnout masters at his home event of a tropical meltdown in Cairns in late July 2018. And that rear touch it was only a brush, in fact. It, it, uh, it still counts as minus 10, though. But he's trying. It's a shame because smoke scores have been strong. Any deductions today will hurt. We've spoken so often about the fact that it's not about what you do right, it's about what you do wrong. And that's what can win or lose you a, uh, a crown like the Burnout Masters. Tires are off by the sounds of it. He's gone from the full consistent RPM to now that pumping throttle sound, which tells us the tires are off. <laughs> Pooley traditionally steps up onto that boot lid and celebrates, but I think he uh, quietly knows that uh, that little brush may have ended his chance in 2018. It was a strong start. He just got himself jammed up there in the exit chute. Couldn't quite get a turn around. It looked like the front end was going to go in, and then he actually got the car turned, but it was the rear that ended up striking it. So here it is, goes for the 360 there, and then it was just lost in the smoke exactly where the wall was. Only a slight rub on that rear if at all, but it might be enough to cost him 10 valuable points, again, if the judges saw it. Mm -hmm. 
Can 2019 be his year to take the numero uno spot? Cool boy. He's got a lot of lovers, a lot of uh, a big fan base from uh, all over Australia. The man known as Fear. Here comes Fred Watson from Perth. He's won everything on the West Coast. This is the one he wants more than anything, the Burnout Masters. Can Fear get the job done today with this new combination of supercharger and injector hat sitting proudly up through the bonnet? Great start. Steady throttle work is going to be the key to his success right here. We hear him just on and off a little. Oh no, he's lost the fire. noise. There's fire in the front. No, the tune up again, not quite there for Fred this year. And it's always Sunday that catches him out. If he could only just reproduce his Saturday burnouts one day later. Good old Summonat's Burnout Masters really does seem to be Fear's kryptonite. So fire is quickly onto it. No issue there. But unfortunately, it meant that uh, judging had to stop. And the judges do frown upon it, obviously. This is Tim Brown, CM Blow, with the big pink smoke out the back. Oh, look at the instant smoke from Tim Brown from Bacchus Marsh. Bang, straight on the money with uh, a plumage and a half of pink smoke just being oh. pumped out. That was super, super close. He's playing with fire down here against the wall, but he'll get away with it. Close. Just about knocked the rear end of that car there, but has used a lot of that pad nicely. Again, similarly to what we saw from one tough HG in the Burnout Championship, that pink smoke is just engulfing the thousands of fans trackside here at the moment. The cameras are just trying to find him. There he is. He's gone all the way to the start line under a cloak of smoke at the moment. Picked up his spot here in the Masters at the UBC, the Ultimate Burnout Challenge in Winton back in February of last year. He made that step up to Blown Injected about two years ago now and uh, did finish inside the top three at Summonat's 30 a couple of years ago. Yep. Which got him his ticket into last year's run and has really made the most of his time in the Masters. Now going back to back, first time in the top 10. That was big from one of Melbourne's best now, Tim Brown. Oh, and Timmy knows it as well. Comes out number one. Well, I tell you what, that was super close. A couple of moments that he had during that burnout. The only thing I think I'd be looking at is the time. It was, it, it, was, uh, it was a fairly quick performance from Tim Brown. But uh, look, apart from that, 10 out of 10 on all bases. Yeah, that was a huge, huge skid from CM Blow. That's exactly what we did. Here it is again on the replay. I think time might be okay on this one. Maybe right on the buzzer, a bit like Jake Myers. Yeah, I mean, he timed it perfectly at 1.02. That yeah, Oof. that that certainly had us uh, second guessing as to whether he had uh, touched the concrete barrier or not. But again, so evident when you've got plastic bumpers on the back of the car, that's the telltale traditionally. This man, number six to come out in our top 10. Steve Edsel from Shepparton in Victoria. Huge tube, small block forward with massive, massive revs. What a moment it's been to get him to here right now in the Burnout Masters top 10, going through the top 30 yesterday, which he got his golden ticket 
from last year's Burnout Championship. So he's gone through nearly 300 competitors to be here inside this top 10 right now. A massive ask for Steve Edsel. He's bringing his A game. Well, Steve hasn't been on the national scene too often this year. He's, uh, he's competed in a couple. I think went up to Northern Nats in the far north of Queensland. Did the uh, ultimate burnout challenge, maybe brush and nuts in Victoria. But apart from that, he's been relatively quiet on the scene, although man, he's, he's letting the old skidju do the talking for him right now. He's gonna keep the momentum up. Smoke scores are through the roof, but yep. just gonna keep driving that car, using the pad. I just wanna see movement. Oh, Smoke starting around. to uh, thin out just a tad. It's been super thick prior till now, but uh, now it's just starting to thin out of touch. One tyre off the back of the Skid U XC Ford Ute. Easily cleared the 60 second barrier, so not going to be too many deductions here. Good skid, Steve Edsel. None for my mind, that's for sure. Well, great job for Steve Edsel. Certainly, uh, as you said, ticking all the boxes. The instant smoke was huge. Nearly 10 points each for stopping, hitting the wall, not getting off the pad. Here it is once again. Great first 360. Still haven't seen anyone go for that right hand down entrance. The reverse tip in the yet. Reverse tip in yet. No, that's, uh, that's been rather elusive. Kajin, another guy you could almost put in the same boat as uh, Fred Watson. Been close to taking out the top prize. Been inside the top 10 before. One of the best presented cars in the top 10 as well. This man, well, he is here because he won the Summer Nats Burnout Championship in 2018. Had automatic selection to uh, come into the Burnout Masters field. And then look at the smoke. He is serious. Of course, small block Chevrolet. We see so many big blocks these days. Still retains and runs the uh, small 377 Cuba. Oh no, he's hit the wall again with the right rear. Similar to the last time we saw him in the Masters, but it happened at the other end of the pad yep. with the other side of the car. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Is that the moment for Tough Street? Was seen earlier out the, in the year out at uh, Red Centre Nats. And now that foot buried hard up against the uh, the engine bay firewall. Bang. In unison, the rear tyres let go. It was a great skid for Tough Street. Can't believe that he has touched the wall again. It's only so minor. Look at that. Well, well that's right. It's not showing any damage on the rear. That's great because it's one of the best presented cars you'll ever see. The airbrush work with this car is amazing. Multiple Tough Street Award winner here at uh, the Street Machine Summer Nats. Gee, I don't know, Jace. It was a big skid until that point. That is so unfortunate because, uh, you know, he has had dramas over the years with fuel systems being incorrect. He's uh, then started his own fuel system company. Got it spot on that time. The car was mint as far as the mechanical uh, continuity of it but unfortunately right there right on the bumper three cars and two drivers remain graham rowe is one of them and he's about to hit the pad in Gamble. His second time at Summer Nats. His first time in the top 10. Well, the Queenslander normally does fly. The... Oh! oh overcooked it. Overcooked it in a big way. Normally, of course, used to fly the, uh, the flag with the maroon tyres. But this <laughs> time, it's gone with the yellow and striking blue combos. But that was just shocking for the Queenslander. He knows that, that 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 is the end. He still might place enough to get himself back into the Masters for 2020. Yeah, that was a real shame. It is a shame indeed. Because uh, stopping is 10, reversing is 10, so there's a chance they could ping him 20 points for that. 
Absolutely. He's gone back on with the job here. Smoke score's a bit monstrous. Fair old haze going on right now. You can see that uh, smoke starting to thin just a little, which means that the tyres are, in fact, starting to go away. I think I just heard one off the back for Graham Road. This 372 Cube small block Ford Power XE Falcon has done a, uh, an incredible job all bar that uh, major, major uh, problem right at the start. Big time shame for Gamble because it was an awesome, awesome skid. Look at the sparks flying off the rim here as he's grinding his way out. Turns it from a set of 17-inch rims down to 15-inch. <laughs> that was super impressive stuff from Graham Rowe. Putting her up in Queensland, missing the top 10 last year on debut. And getting his golden ticket via the Burnout All-Stars at Queensland Raceway. First showing in the top 10 was a good one. Here's the replay of this uh, seriously aggressive tip-in. Got through the one rotation. It was the second one that caught him out. As he thought, oh, I'm not going to make that one happen because there's a big concrete wall heading my way. Pulled it up in time. Thankfully, not uh, bending the front of the XC Falcon panel yeah. van. Yeah. The stage is so perfectly set here for Rick Fuller. Oh. Two cars to go, back-to-back -back burnouts for the same driver. Never been done in the top ten. I'll play for mine. Three years in a row has finished yeah, third man. at the biggest burnout comp in the country. Scotty Yates, Yatesy, who competed in the championship, burnout championship earlier in the weekend. He's riding shotgun. First of two cars. Ah, try something different. Throws down early. Get the judge's attention by throwing down nice and early rather than the high speed tip in. Four. We saw this full all out attack on the throttle yesterday. Serious RPM. He is waving that RPM a little bit. You can see the butterflies working with the throttle bodies connected up high. Now, judges have told him in the past Rick, if you want to win, you've got to stop riding the limiter. We want you to be a bit more on a throttle control rather than just holding a flat. But the funny thing is, is that with the new car, full on, which we'll see next, he does that. I think it's just his comfortable driving style in this one. All out attack. It's the old girl. It's the old faithful for him, LS1. Yep. He says it's still his favourite child, the first child. And it's uh, his favourite car to drive, even though the new one's a little bit easier. Got one tyre, if not two off here, just waiting on that right rear. Bang, gets him almost in unison. Oh boy, he's bringing his best here today. LS1 ticks the box. Well, first of two. Stops to celebrate. Bang, big, big skid from LS1. Is it though enough to get him out of a painful repeat third position? Could you imagine? Hey, there's uh, no point deductions from what we saw. So he should certainly be up towards the pointier end of this field so far. I like that he went for something different from the beginning. So a good chance to bank some more driver skill points right at the start of the burnout. Just catching the judge's eye is how you put it, Jason. It's a, a good way of saying it. Want to be noticed to be different out there. Now, I, I want to know whether he's actually had to run back down or whether <laughs> we've, whether we've couriered, courier, uh, couriered him back down because at the end of the day, Last year, when we saw Matt James be the first to debut uh, two cars, whereas Rick did the same. He, uh, he drew nine and ten side by side. And instead of taking the easy road by going, oh, no, the boys will swap with me so I can go one. <laughs> Here he is, Rick Fuller being chauffeured back down. Canberra, ACT, home to Parliament House, home to the Australian War Memorial. This is an important place. Canberra is important. Telstra Tower, Fishwick Adult Shops. And in January, some of the best burnouts you'll ever see. <laughs> 
we'd like to invite you to come to Canberra because they look after us and we want you to look after them. And because they look after us, it means we can look after you in January for four days at the best car festival in the world. Josh Bennis, Canberra. The pattern is set for the final burnout of the top 10, the Burnout Masters final at Summonat 32, and it's all eyes once again on Rick Fuller. This is full on, the new car, the new Commodore Ute. It got the golden ticket here in its very first burnout. It's a big time player, it's first time at Summonats, it's made the top 10. Can it complete the trifecta and win the Burnout Masters on debut? This will be huge. Shades of Unwanted from last year with Matt James. Similar build, he is ready to go. Just looking at him moving, I think he's got a problem. And he does. Oh, he has no. got a problem with this car. Oh. I could, I, I'm pretty sure that he was sitting there and he pulled low, ge low gear and went to give it a stab and the kind of just stumbled forward. So, full on has got an issue. If he is going to win the Summonats Burnout Masters in 28, 2019, he's going to have to do it with LS1. Wow. So. Trouble here, we can still enjoy the skid for full on. He's got the noise going now. No wonder this is the naughty child. No wonder LS1 <laughs> yeah, is still, still the, favorite. The, the favorite child. But this is now the problem child. Wow, he talk about the drama of it all. Oh, oh no. and a fire out yeah. the back as well. Gets worse, unfortunately. Still wants to get a set of tyres off even if it's not going to be for the number one spot today. We'll have to rely on LS1 to give him that breakthrough win that he's been hoping for. A chance to just appreciate how beautiful this car is. Full on is an absolute yeah. weapon. Yeah, look, it, it, it's, uh, it is new school. Of course, uh, plastic bumpers front and back, but still nonetheless, an amazing looking vehicle. Very similar to that of Matt James's Unwanted. Melted a bumper bar off the thing. <laughs> a work well, in progress, I, I guess we could say. I, I don't think he's going to be too bothered with it. I think he'll uh, load that one back up, put it back into the uh, transporter, and then, of course, take it home and just sit it in the corner until he's prepared to go again with it. Again, let's make plenty of noise for all our drivers in the Masters. Let's go! We can tell you, in third place, Rick Fuller! In second place, Burnout Masters, the singing by Tim Brown. Oh man, this is this is a dream come true. Just to make the top ten, even in the Masters, that's it's crazy, man. To come second, wow. Righto, thank you, Chad. Let's go. Summon at 32, the most awesome skid we have seen this weekend. And it goes to Masters champion for Summon at 32 in Sicko, Jake Myers. It just had to be. It had to be. We had a father-daughter combo pick up grand champion and now we have a father-son combo eventually making their way to the top of the burnout scene. Jake, this is wild. You've done it. You've followed in your dad's footsteps to become the burnout master. Well done. Yeah, mate. No, I'd just like to say thanks to my dad. <laughs> There's no way I'll be able to do this. Uh, thanks to Blowing Motorsports. Um, yeah, my missus Hayden for changing me twice. This is a dream come true. Thank you. This is... Mum. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. <laughs> Here comes the family right now. Yeah, like my old man won summer that seven times and, you know, we've been just getting this car right for the last five years and it's uh, been a long road. Um, just tuning, yeah, 9,000 RPM, the whole skid and, um, yeah, it was really good, so... I can't describe it. It's a feeling like no other. <laughs> I've lost for words. 
But I'm so proud of him, you know, yeah. he's 22 and he's just mixing with all them big boys out there that we all, you know, are proud of and now he's one of them, so. Speechless, couldn't, didn't believe it. I thought he was definitely up there, but um, yeah, it was just speechless, speechless. So um, very, very proud. We knew coming out of Summit House 31 and looking forward, as we did looking forward to Summit House 32, that we really needed to make some changes. We wanted to find a way to let the entrants have the part if they wanted to. And that came from listening to what people wanted us to do called Skid Row. When we opened Skid Row, within an hour, we knew that Summer Nats was back. We set a new world record. 126 cars, turn tires, which is a really great celebration of people who are core to our event. That world record belongs to all of them. Mate, the fact that the son of the first Burnout Master won the Burnout Masters today, for a father to watch his son take the crown that he first won must have been amazing. Two thousand people who work hard all year to bring their cars to the summer nights and 100,000 who put their hard-earned money down to come and spend their time with us and we really wanted to rock their world this year.